everyone from Motion VFX, this video is all about templates customization. We will see how to use modular templates from Motion VFX and how to do a deep customization in Apple Motion 5. This is a project for a restaurant named Big Bang who wants to communicate on the social network. The goal is to promote daily the two-day special with a short but effective video. To start, let's go to the Motion VFX website to look at the templates available. As you can see, there are many templates. I will type restaurant in the search bar to focus my research. I can preview the template. There are two types of templates, the regular one and the modular template. Let's check the modular one, project 1530. Modular templates provide many elements, the main project, one lower third animation, one title, one transition, and separate modules, meaning you will have all the various scenes of the template independently. Very useful when you want to extract some elements from a template. And you will also get the font from the project. Let's buy this template and see what we can do inside Final Cut Pro 10. In Final Cut, you will find the complete template project in the generators library inside the Motion VFX folder. I can drag and drop it to the project, check it, and inside the inspector, I will have access to all the parameters to customize it. But in this case, I don't want all the template, I want only some parts. So I will go to the titles library where I can also find a motion VFX folder. Inside this folder, we'll have access to all the different modules from a template. So I will look at the project 1530 and we can see that we have eight elements. One hour third, one title and six parts from the template. If you're looking for the transition, you will have to go to the transition library inside the motion VFX folder. You will find the dedicated transition for the 1530 project. Okay, so let's start to build our project. I will add the part one. First, I will add the restaurant logo by clicking on the drop zone. I will adjust the size like this. I will modify the tagline and add the right font. I will change to black the color of the two text. So the first animation is done, there is a second part. I will change the brown color to the bluish one. For the background video, I will add some veggies today, as I would like to promote the organic veggies we are selling. I will modify both text and add the right font. Okay, we are done for the first template. I would like to add a second one to promote the today special. I will use the title element and overlap it over the template in order to have a nice transition. So I will change the title. I will replace the logo drop zone element by a picture of the today special. Today, it's a big beastie burger. As you can see, I've got nice picture of food in my event library. All of them comes from the Cuisine plugin from Motion VFX. Inside MQZ plugin, you can find many food elements animated. But if you do a right click, you can reveal in the finder the element and get the picture, already key and ready to use. Back to our project, I will add the name of the dish and the price. I will also change the background text element and type the name of the restaurant Big Bang.
So it is nice, but I would like to go deeper in the customization of this element. I would like to change some picture and add other elements. To go further, I will select the title in the library. With a right click, I can open the title inside Motion. Let's do it. In Motion, we'll have access to all the elements from the project. Picture, text, but also camera, lights. So I will start to modify all the text that won't change. It will help me to win a lot of time later on. I will change the background text. I will also add the today's special title and the price. Concerning the two veggies picture, I may want to add more color. I will rename the group veggies. I will remove the pepper picture and replace it by a red pepper. I will also add an avocado on the right side. On these two elements, I will add a drop shadow effect to create a death effect. Sometimes the today special could be a dessert. I would like to be able to change easily the veggies picture to sugar element like chocolate, donuts and cake. To do so, I will copy the group and rename it dessert. I will remove the veggies picture inside and replace them by some element less LC. Like this. I would like to be able to switch between these two groups very easily inside Final Cut Pro 10, so I will create a dedicated pop-up menu. To do so, I will add a rig element in the project. In the inspector, I will click on the pop-up button. I will rename it Type of Dish. By default, there are three elements in the list. I will rename the first two and remove the third one. So I've got a pop-up menu with two elements, veggies and dessert. Now we need to link the two elements to the two groups layer. To do so, it's quite simple. I will select one group, the dessert one. In the inspector, I will go to the opacity parameter and click on the down arrow. In the menu, I will go to add to rig, rig, add to type of dish. 
I will repeat the same operation with the veggies group. Now I can select my rig layer and in the inspector we can see that the opacity parameters are available inside my rig. So I will be able to control the opacity of the groups depending on the pop-up menu. For example, if dessert is selected in the pop-up menu, I will set to zero the opacity parameter for the veggies group. And if the veggies group is selected in the pop-up menu, I will set to zero the opacity parameter from the dessert group. The last step is to publish the rig for Final Cut Pro. Just click on the down arrow and select Publish. If I select the project layer, I can see all the elements published. At the bottom of the list, I can find my new pop-up menu. I can drag it to the top of the list, like this. Now we'll save the template. I will name it Today Special. And I will add it to the Motion VFX category and inside the same theme. I will ask Motion to create a little preview. And I will click on Publish. I will go back to Final Cut Pro 10. The new template will appear. I will replace the old one by the new one. I can test the new pop-up menu options. It works well. I can add the picture of the burger, add the price and the name of the dish. And it's done. Okay, let's see how it will be easy to modify this opener for the next two day special, the Opera Cake. First, I will change the picture of the special with the drop zone in the inspector. I will adjust the size, I will change the price and the name. Of course, my VG's element don't match with my cake. So I will switch with my pop-up menu to the dessert mode. Simple, fast and easy. On the first part, I will also modify the background video and add a nice one with a raspberry slow motion. As you've just seen, modular templates from Motion VFX are very flexible with a large palette of customized parameters. But you can also go deeper for the customization with Apple Motion 5 to get a faster and effective workflow. I invite you to visit the Motion VFX website and take a look at all the regular and modular templates available. Thanks for watching. Ciao ciao. Bye bye.